Hello everyone. In this video, we will see the student management system, the university database. Here we will open the Excel file. When you open the Excel file, the Excel file will be hidden and the login application will be visible to sign in and log into the. So I will type the username, password. It is my name and password is one, two, three, four. You can log into this and you can clear the username password and retype that or you can exit from this application now i will log into this you can see the application is opened here in the first page student details and in the second page university database here when we enter the details from here when we add the details it will be served in this list box that is in the page two you can see student id name details everything will be here okay you can see in the first page student id and the student details in this frame parents details in this frame the course details and in this frame the student home student or OSC students uh, those details we can type yes or no you can see from the drop down we can select yes or no and in this frame we have the calendar we can pick the date when we pick the date you can see at the bottom right corner the date will be printed here in this frame we can select the subjects from this drop down for each modules we can we may have elective subjects or single subjects and we can type the scores for each subjects here when we click the result button uh, the total scores will be here and the ranking also after clicking the result button only we have to click the add new button to add the details so let me see here already we have few student id 100 101 2 3 and 4 let me check we can type only 100 we don't need to type all six digits we can type 100 you can see already the details is entered for the semester one so the deep parents details student details course details will be printed because it is already in the database if you are typing new records only we have to type and we have to add the into the database you can see when we type the student id the student image will be printed here i will change this to 101 the student image is changing right 103 all details changing right okay uh, let me check this is 100 uh, for the uh, semester uh, one is from the 17th column semester one right so here we will type the semester two details okay select the semester two these details are same so what we have to do here we have to select semester two subjects for the bachelor of science computer science engineering is a course so we have to select each subjects now we can enter the uh, results here after entering the result okay we entered the result now what we can do now we have to click the result button before clicking the add new we have to click the result button when we click the result button the total score and the ranking and the current date will be printed here after getting the result only we can add new without clicking the result button and the add new button will not work so now we click the result button now we will add this okay after clicking the add button the message box will be there added okay now we can see in the database details is updated now we can reset this if you want to see a student details let's see here the number 100 is two times here and here for semester one and semester two so what we are going to see for the student id 100 we are going to see the semester two details so to view the details we have to type the student id and the semester definitely now we have we are going to view click the view button the old details here the subjects results and rankings are here now, now we can view this if we want to update anything we can update except the student id and the semester details we can update anything uh, okay let me update 
the score is uh, 87 for this for the module 1 that is subject 3 so let me update okay are you sure you want to update if i click this it will be updated now we will check this in the database for this one see the module one here this one 87 done in this way we can update the subject details as well okay now we will reset if you want to see any student uh, documents let me see for the student id 100 uh, the student image will be there then we are going to view the student documents for this contract student id okay view documents uh, it will go to the students uh, the student id renamed folder so there is one uh, document after uploading the documents from the computer we can see what are the documents they are for the students if there are uh, missing documents then we, we can surf into that particular folder okay uh, after selecting this document when we click ok that file doc location will be in the message box we can see that okay in this program we can't see the excel file anywhere when we open or close but from this command but only we can see from this database let me click that okay are you sure you want to open database yes this is the database we have uh, we are entering for each student results the course details are in the second sheet. If there is any new course details, we have to enter the details here uh, because in the codings dynamically we are getting them in the course details. Okay, now Alt F11 to jump into the Visual Basic Editor. This is password protected. Now we will click the VB project. Password is one, two, three, four. Okay. You can see here we have the login menu here you can see this is for the exit this is for the login here we have the username so my name password is one two three you can change the username and password here i mentioned that in the comment now from the student management system user form here you can see this is for the course change I commented these things, these things we don't need. This is updated as few lines dynamically using the post statement. So when you update the course details one by one here, using this course change sub procedure, we will get the course details in the user form. When we come down, that is in the CBO course change for each module this is for the module one for the each course this is for the second module for each module we have to add okay this is for the eighth module the last module then cbo degree change even under that if you have new degree program you have to add in this codings after this line then this is for the add new command button This is for the database. When you jump into the database, the new sofa will be closed. Then application, the Excel application will be visible. Never delete these lines. If you delete these lines, then you can't see the Excel file. This is the exit button. Then the print button. Then this is for the reset. This is for the result command button. This is for the calendar. An update command button view command button this is to view the documents which are in the folders for each student then txt student change event under this txt student change event only um, the images we are getting in the image box image one dot fixer is equal to load fixer then uh, the folders where in which folder we have each student's images that when you can change this uh, folder path i have them in the d location under the student fixer folder name under that each student's folders renamed with their student id that's why and student txt student id 
and person as JPG image only. So when we type the student ID in the user form using the TXT student change event, the images will be there. Okay. Then under the user form initialize these things. I will close this and I have the shortcut in the customized quick access toolbar. We have the shortcut, we can click and we can type the username and password and we can jump into there. And one image is there in the details. Now we will exit from using the exit command button. Okay. And we will reopen it. Let me type the username and password. So banana and 1234 login. Right. Now I will upload this Excel file and you can download from the description. The BB project password protected uh, password is 1234. Also for the user login, you can see my name is the username and the password is 1234. I will give the YouTube video link for the detailed explanation of how I prepared this student data management system. You can find everything in the description below. Thank you.